authority tells us more. By the authority vested by me in the laws of state Arkansas, I do pronounce you lawfully wedded partners. June 26, 2015, a historic day in Arkansas. We're there. We are ready. We are going to welcome everyone who wants to get married today. While some courthouses in the state are delaying issuing marriage licenses after the Supreme Court's decision, Pulaski County Clerk Larry Crane was ready. I believe that it has been too long in coming, uh, but things take time to change. Sadly, sometimes a lot longer than we might want, but I'm glad that it's here. But not everyone is in agreement. Today's ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court is illegitimate. Jerry Cox with the Family Council worked to get a ban passed back in 2004. He believes the Supreme Court overstepped its bounds Friday morning when making the decision. This really flies in the face of how we have structured not only our definition of marriage in this country, but also how we govern marriage in this country. A decision that may not sit well with everyone, but one Arkansas's attorney general says must be followed. Certainly I was disappointed. I have viewed marriage as between one man and one woman. And while this imposes that responsibility on government to recognize same-sex marriages, we are a nation of laws and those the Supreme Court has spoken and made a decision on this. Again, Laura Monteverdi reporting there. Now, Governor Asa Hutchinson also weighing in on the ruling tonight. And he issued this quote. As governor, I recognize the responsibility of the state to follow the direction of the U.S. Supreme Court. As a result of this ruling, I will direct all state agencies to comply.